camera stores in the UK are generally dying. Uh, they're not doing very well. Certainly in in the UK, certainly in Edinburgh, um, there used to be some more camera stores maybe five, six years ago, but a lot of them have gone. There used to be a Jacobs. There was quite, there was a number of uh, Jessops. Um, there was a Calumet, which has now been taken over by Wix. And uh, there was other kind of stores around the place that had certain camera gear in it. But a lot of them are dying, going away. Uh, Jessops is now just kind of an online. There's a couple of stores. There's one actually in Edinburgh. Um, and uh, it's it's on a very expensive high street. Um, so they're paying a lot of money for it. Uh, but uh, not... I don't think it's really a thriving business that it used to be in the past. Uh, same with Calumet, that was doing really good. That got taken over by uh, Wix. Um, and it still has pretty much the same stuff in it. But generally the camera stores are dying. And I've got a business idea, a business plan um, for them. So for example, if, if, if I just type in camera store for Edinburgh, we only get three. But for Edinburgh, the capital city of Scotland, the the it got about three quarters of a million population. It is the financial hub uh, of the north of Britain, but uh, yeah, only three camera stores. One is the Wex. Did I say Wix? I meant Wix. Uh, Wix uh, photo and video store. There is that Jessops, which is uh, the one store that they've got, uh, and then there's a camera base, which is a a, a local what was it called? A, like a mom and pop. This is what Americans would call it. It's like um, two guys that own a camera store for like the last hundred years. Um, a tiny little shop with antique gear inside and lots of secondhand lenses. If you're looking for secondhand lenses, that's, that's a good place uh, to go for. Um, is that anyway? What's what's my idea? What's my plan? Uh, my proposal I would put out to these other companies is that on the flip side, camera stores are down. A lot of people don't bother buying cameras because they can just use their phone. Um, and a lot of people are going to phone stores to buy phones which have a good camera. One of the biggest selling features of so many phones is how many megapixels, how many dynamic ranges, how many depth of fields your uh, camera can produce now. Um, that a lot of the time whenever they're like, hey, here's the iPhone 10, a lot of the chat is about portrait mode, and depth of field, and low light abilities, and all that kind of stuff. And I think, uh, hold on, if I just go to phone shops in Edinburgh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's almost a phone shop in every major supermarket as well. Uh, Tesco's have their own phones, Sainsbury's has their own kind of phone deals, and then any kind of uh, shopping center almost always has a phone uh, shop inside there as well. And I think what would be really good is instead of me having to drive all the way across Edinburgh to park in the city centre of a nightmare of a town um, to then go to a, a Jessops which has got consumer friendly goods rather than professional friendly goods um, and they're all hidden behind counters you just kind of go It'd be good if I could just go into a phone shop and go, how good is that phone camera? And uh, do you have any like real cameras that can test it against? I think what should happen is that maybe Calumet or Wex should do a deal with, let's say O2 or something like that, and say, look, in every, cam in every phone store, you have a photographer guy with the gear that can advise people on phones, because I can guarantee the stat, like, from my experience, from going into the phone stores, if you go in, there's usually about four or five members of staff inside any phone store. They always seem to be very busy um, selling the same phones over and over. Uh, you go in there, you ask them any questions, they will tell you about your data plans, your memories, your repair bills, your accounts, all that kind of stuff. But ask them about the which ca which one's got the best camera? A lot of them will go, that one's got more megapixels? You're like, uh, okay, yeah, but, okay, what about its, its colour depth? It does really good pinks and purples? You're like, okay, right. Uh, do, do, you, do you know what native ISO is? They're like, 
did you say something there? <laughs> and I think it, it would be, it'd be good if we could get a photographer, like, and I mean like a photo nerd, one that isn't a like, oh, I'm a Nikon fanboy or I'm a Canon fanboy. It's like, no, I'm a pixels and color depth and uh, a dynamic range nerd uh, in each of these stores that is testing the phones to see how good their cameras are. Talking about the panoramic features or the the portrait modes and all that stuff. So if somebody comes in and goes, hi, I'm looking for a phone. I like that phone. It's not too expensive. What's the camera like? Having an actual photo nerd in there, but also at the side, sell camera gear as well. Because so many people go, hi, yeah, I've, I've been taking photos with my phone all last year for Instagram. I now want to upgrade to taking professional photos. Uh, what digital SLRs do you have? You're like, hello, here's the Nikon D850. Here's a giant lens. Here's £5,000 worth of gear. And they go, oh, that's really expensive. Like, yeah, but your phone is a thousand pounds on its own. Um, so I, I, I think Calumet, Wex, Jacob, I, I have seen, um, there's a, is there a camera store inside Sainsbury's now? I think Sainsbury's, they've, they've sucked in Argos. Argos is now inside of Sainsbury's. And I'm sure I saw like a camera store inside of Sainsbury's somewhere in town. Um, but, uh, it's, it's not coming up on Google Maps. Anyway, just Jessops and Wex. Uh, the other thing I would say is, yeah, so even like on camera nerd sites, the two things are smartphones, lenses, and cameras. You know, if you want to know about the camera's latest sensor, it also is all about smartphones. You really need to integrate camera shops and phone shops together. Even if this is like a back room or a side room with like a photo nerd that can uh, even, even do like a display, like set up a, a a chair with a background and so that if somebody comes in and goes, how good's that phone or how good's that phone? It's like, hold on, hold on, we'll, we'll get our mannequin, we'll put it on the chair, let's do it with this type of lighting, I'll show you how quick the photos are. Because again, some cameras may take amazing photos, but if you're wanting a camera which is good for when you're out doing sports or something, you want to be able to go, press the button, it takes a photo instantly, instead of some phones, especially we're talking about more of the budget phones, you press it, it goes click, click. You're like, when did it take the photo? At the first click or the second click? How do I turn the clicks off? Again, you want somebody, again, uh, maybe like a photo a camera nerd, which is fully integrated with all the phone systems. Because again, you'll have people kind of going, hey, I want to buy a camera. How do I get my photos from a camera onto my Instagram. And for a lot of cameras that are coming out nowadays, there's Wi-Fi connections, there's Bluetooth connections that you can get to your phone. So you need like a, a total nerd, <laughs> and I mean this in a positive, like nerd in a positive way, not like a derogatory way, but a guy that can go in and go, cool, you've got the iPhone 10, you've got a Nikon D850, let's set up your, your Bluetooth connection with your phone and I'll show you how you can transfer your photos from your camera to your phone. This is what we need in the camera stores, if you take your camera, if you take your phone to an O2 shop and go, I've got this phone and I've got this really expensive camera, do you know how I transfer this stuff? They'd be like, "There, I think there's an app for that. You'd be like, okay, do you actually know or are you just saying words? Um, so <laughs> can you tell my frustration <laughs> with any time I've gone into a phone shop? Because I'm, I really, like I still, I use my iPad when I go out running sometimes. Uh, my actual phone is a piece of guff, which is a Microsoft phone. Not using that for anything. Uh, I still use an iPod Touch if I'm needing something very light in my pocket to take some photos. Um, iPod Touch fifth generation or something like that, which looks like a phone, uh, but it isn't. And uh, what I do love is when I can link up my Panasonic GH4 uh, to my iPad. So whenever I'm taking portrait photos of people, it's instant live streaming. I can have the camera pointed at them. I can have the iPad beside them. And I can go, here, we're taking a photo. And they can go, oh, wait, my tie's not right. So they use that almost as a mirror uh, going on by looking through uh, the camera's connection with the iPad. And that's brilliant. But it takes a bit of an IT nerd to, when I say IT nerd, your average teenager will get it, no problem. But we're talking about the majority of professional, or people that want to upgrade to professional digital SLRs kind of stuff, they're like, oh god, Wi-Fi codes and 
passwords. Oh, what? And apps? There's an app store. Oh, do I have to pay for this? So I, I think there really needs to be integration with some camera stores, with some phone stores and camera stores. Not necessarily there to sell phones, sell cameras, but to give the uh, experience of being able to, or no, to provide the knowledge of how to connect your devices and uh, which device is the best for the kind of photography that you're wanting to get. Um, so yeah, I my advice, since camera stores are dying and their shops are expensive as hell and yet there's phone stores on every corner, you can throw a couple of staff members from Jessup's, take their top cameras, stick them in into an O2 shop so that they can show people how to connect phones and cameras. Because again, you've got so many different phones, so many different apps, so many different systems that it's, it's a minefield for anybody going, like people are literally, they have to go and go, right, I'm gonna buy a new phone. Hold on, I've got a Nikon camera. Google, how well does the Nikon app work on this phone? Is it a nightmare? Oh no, there's loads of bugs on it. Okay, I'm gonna decide my phone choice on how well my camera app works. You know, it's just, it's a minefield. It's not, it's not a universal, kind of standard going on whatsoever. Um, also, a uh, final point I would say is, if you go into Jessup's, is anybody buying point and shoots? <laughs> like, uh, on their cameras, digital SLRs, cool, you've got your main ones, then mirrorless, cool, you've got that. But compact cameras, it goes on and on and on. And I'm just kind of going, save save the space just get like okay these giant ones i can see people buying them before like if you're going on a safari or something like that um people going that but pretty much everyone that's ever spoken to me everyone that's asked for my opinion oh dom you know about photography well what camera should i get everyone nobody says what point and shoot should i get it's like what I want to get digital SLR. So many people still look at digital SLRs as, oh my god, they're amazing. I saw my friend with one and they took the best photos, so I want a digital SLR. That nobody asked for. What's the best, I've no I haven't heard for years anybody saying, what's the best bridge camera? Um, but I can see they've got a purpose, but point and shoots. Just uh, like these, just bin them all. Just get rid of them. Nobody is buying these instead of upgrading their phone. And when your phones are coming out with such brilliant camera abilities, photo abilities, that uh, carrying around an extra little camera like this, which is, which is a bit bigger than a normal phone, doesn't have a flip round screen like a phone where you could do a selfie video, uh, you're just like, what is the purpose of these? I would just, and the, these are the ones, tough phones as well. Where did I see that? Did I see that? Tough, tough phones, tough cameras. Again, just get a case for your phone. <laughs> these are all crap lenses uh, on these. Oh, they're just, why would you bother? Why would you bother with it? Yeah, okay, you can go underwater. You can get loads of phones that can go underwater as well. Just get a tough case for your phone that can go underwater and it'll save you from having to do all this guff. And again, a lot of times you'll get these cameras and go, oh, that's great. Now you take the memory card out, stick it to my computer, edit the photos, send it to my phone, then I can upload it. When people can just do it from their phone. I would say get rid of all the, this fluff. You're not bringing in new customers with that. And get, get connected with uh, some phone shops. Anyway, that's just my idea. That's my business plan. Trademark Don Bauer, copyright Don Bauer, 2019. I suspect, I hope, in the future, 2020, there'll be the joining of phone and camera store. And camera nerds and phone nerds will join together and create a great experience for, uh, for your average consumer. Fingers crossed.